Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. Hopefully the audio on this is fine. Um, I actually ended up having to uninstall and reinstall both the Elgato and my Audacity stuff and I've had to switch the USB port that my microphone's plugged into because I was having some audio problems. Um, also, just to get it out of the way, since this will probably be the video uploaded later today, um, thank you all for your kind words about the election that happened last night. I know this is not a political thing, it's not, I don't do politics at all, but I have to say that I was quite traumatized by the results and quite upset, and I just want everybody to know that if you watch this and are um, LGBT, and, uh, Muslim, any, any religious belief, anything, I don't know, whatever you are, you are welcome here. And I just want you to know that because apparently the majority of my country thinks that a psychotic tangerine is, makes a great president. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm hopeful that we can, the rest of us that are left that are sane can band together. And I understand perhaps why he's there because people want to change. People are economically depressed, but that, is, that was not the way. I, I don't feel that he was the best option at all. So I feel like a lot of progress was lost in one night, but I feel like we can band together and bring it back. And thank you for your kind words. There's several people who have commented and, and have expressed condolences for the situation. And I cannot thank you enough because your words, I mean, sometimes some of you guys say that I help you out by doing this, but you don't know how much you've helped me out. Like, how mu how nice it is to talk to people who share my interests and who we can, di I can, like, we can have discussions with, and that so many of you are, that I talk to are not, they're not, you're not from America. You're not from a place I was born and raised in, and it's so, it's so amazing that I can talk to people from Sweden and Korea and and London and ev just everywhere, all over the world, whenever whenever I want. And that I've become very good friends with many of you. And I just wanted to say thank you for that. And that I hope we can, that the world over, since there, I mean, there are problems everywhere, not just here in America, but we've got some big ones and we tend to make waves when we have problems. So I just wanted to say thank you guys for your support and uh, know that I support you as well in this and that hopefully we can all come out of this for the better on the other side. And that's the, that's the last I'll hopefully say of it. I'm going to keep doing these videos. If this is all I can do is play video games and make people happy, I will do it. I will do it gladly. And I hope, I hope that we can all figure this out. And be better people for it in the end somehow. So, um, nothing else, I, I am I am hopeful. I Perhaps that's silly, but I, I do hope that things will turn out somehow for the best. But anyway, that's all I'll say on that. Just wanted to say thank you for everything, and now we will carry on with Shepard. And who doesn't, she does not fall into despair does not let it consume her. She fights the losing fight. Honestly, this game has been been a very good inspiration for this this political year. It, it truly has been. I I don't think I would be able to handle things as well if it wasn't for the situations that I've encountered in these games. And I just got to thank Bioware too for that. I just I'm being extra. Th it's the it's November, ma. Huh? Let's be extra thankful. At least in America, we have we have our Thanksgiving holiday thing going on and eventually soon and um i don't know it was canadian thanksgiving was a little while back so it's just it's good it's good to be thankful for things and i'm just grateful that bioware has made a game like this that's so progressive for its time apparently <laughs> and uh for for situations that aren't even necessarily progressive but that help deal with stressful situations that Sh shepherd is literally fighting a losing battle here and that's kind of what it feels like currently in the political situation in the world. And we can only hope that a small, that if, if it has to be a small group of people, you know, like a small, because if the majority of people are thinking the way they are, that maybe a small group of people can make a change. 
and that if the small groups of people band together, that maybe we can have a bigger voice. So, anyway, it's been it's been a rough been a rough last 12, 24 hours, but we'll make it through. We'll pull through. We'll do Shepherd proud. We'll do ourselves proud. I don't remember what exactly we were doing right now. Don't want to do the Citadel yet. Barlavon. We did all the... I think we were doing the Aria stuff. We don't have the power grid. We don't have the heating unit. Uh, we don't have the alien metagel. Okay. I actually, I, it's been it's been several weeks since I played this game, so I don't know what, what I'm doing. I legitimately don't know what I'm doing. I think we could just can we go? I feel like there was something else we were doing on the Citadel. But I cannot remember. Oh, and I was gonna actually record on N7 day, and I didn't because I actually the I will not make spoil that this is the, this is the exciting thing, right? We got all the new Andromeda info, and I won't spoil anything because I know some people want to be, remain as spoiler free as possible and just jump into the game, you know, blind as a baby or whatever, blind as a baby bat. But um, I'm I am excited, but I was a little bit I was a little bit sulky <laughs> that we didn't get to see any uh, really any new alien species. I was like, dang it, and we didn't get to have like any hints as to any romance or re not too many hints on like our crewmate, our future companion crewmates, whatever. So I was a little bit miffed, <laughs> and I spent I literally spent the whole day like mining for information wherever I could go. I do have a Game Informer subscription, and I had to change it because I like the print ones, right? But I had to change it to a digital subscription, so that way I could get the the Mass Effect Andromeda issue now instead of in December. And I was like, really? Really? That's how you're gonna be? So, but it was a lot of interesting information and the game looks really good. I don't think it's gonna be as good as what the trailers show. There was one snapshot that I was looking at it and I was like, that looks a little more like the Bioware animation that I, that I know and love. But, it, I mean, it's gonna be a gorgeous game. It's gonna be, it's gonna be on the, uh, the Frostbite engine, of course. But uh, Citadel, recruit them to the war. I just, I can't think, I think now basically we can just kind of run around. Run, like checking things out and stuff. Because we can't do the blue suns yet. Um, oh, and what else was I gonna, I was actually gonna, um, Yes. I was thinking, I've gotten a lot of advice. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. We gotta go by the Citadel. Gotta go by the Citadel. I've been talking to Full Metal Online. Or, okay. The username is Full Metal. <laughs> Full Metal Heart, I think. And, um, Full Metal Online sounds like a legit username, though. Um, but, uh, we need to go talk to somebody on the Citadel. There is one person that I completely missed. Um, that we need to go and speak to because I'm, I'm very excited to see if that's gonna affect the game at all. It should, I certainly hope it does somehow. But I also have been talking to Frog Raider a lot and we, well, we've decided that I, I need to really focus on my infiltrator better, that I need to not bring the shotgun and the sniper rifle out. I need to bring the sniper rifle and an SMG out and focus of because I've been because well, it's it's if you're an infiltrator it's a good idea as far as we've been you know talking and I'm sure people have different you know ideas to either bring a shotgun and then use like your cloak and get up close to people and whack them with the melee or to uh, snipe from a distance when possible and just use the SMG when people close in and I have been really enjoying the sniping so I want to do that um, but I just don't think I haven't been using decoy much uh, but what are my, let's see, what are my abilities? Okay. I have disruptor ammo, cryo ammo, incinerate, tactical cloak, sticky grenade, sabotage. Okay, 
so I've got a lot of my tech a bit right because I am thing now I am a freaking infiltrator which is kind of close to an engineer <laughs> um I might actually pull out the I did enjoy energy drain a lot that was very useful when I but that was when I was using myself as you know a human meat shield uh as a I kind of want to try defense drone again. I enjoyed that a lot. I'm really sad you can't get the turret, but you know, it's whatever. Um, trying to think though what would be good for a sniper rifle or for a sniper person. Hmm. Barrier looks cool. You reinforce your armor with a biotic field, and then you detonate the field to lift and dangle nearby targets. Reinforce armor with protective. That one really doesn't seem very good. And we've got like barrier, defense matrix, and fortification. It's all like three words for like the same thing. Okay, purge the current and send its charge to your gauntlets for increased melee damage. Okay, so it's the same thing as defense matrix, but more melee. And this is to restore shields. And barrier is not tech at all. It's. It's biotic. Which would be not. It does slow down your power use, though. Shoot. That's not good. Can't do that then. So it'd be nice if they got close to me, but the hope is they won't get too close to me. They will, because especially because I'm still figuring out sniping. Uh, let's do defense drone for now. Because decoy really hasn't been doing what I want it to do. Yeah. Okay, so... Well, shoot, I could take some off of that, off defense drone, and put it onto ones I already have. We at least need to give it to ourselves. Oh, uh, no. Let's see what it can do. Increase the duration, increase the attack range. Increase the drone's attack rate. Increase the damage and attack range. Damage up to two additional nearby targets, gain a 30% chance to knock down electric gear. Now, I probably do the damage up to two nearby targets. So you could get your your damage and your attack range increased by 100%, or like the duration and the attack rate. Attack rate might be nice. If you could increase the damage and the attack range and the duration, oh. Damage, increase duration. I do kind of need the duration, I think. Because I need it to be out there distracting people, you know? And if it gets too much attention, it won't last for very long. Attack rate might be nice. Or, it does actually look kind of nice too. Increase the attack rate by 50%. I'm kind of tempted to use some of those points though. Well, shoot, I could get Tactical Cloak all the way done. We could increase the sniper. See, this one I'm not sure. These are both really good. Increase the sniper rifle damage by 40%. Or fire one. I kind of want the fire one power while cloaked and remain hidden. I haven't been using incinerate much either. Which is odd. Or we could do... Sabotage. Ugh, I don't know. Fitness. So I'm not gonna do shoot. So, okay, no, I did increase health and shield bonuses. I didn't do the melee damage. Okay, good. I'm not gonna focus on melee damage. 
It's like I'll have to decrease the shield charge relay by 15, delay by 16%, whatever, 15. Increase, no, we're not going to increase melee, but that will increase the weapon damage bonus. Nope, after, okay, so, basically this is, this is, this, so it looks like it actually, the game is telling you, basically, like, you can be, with Infiltrator, you can be an up-close melee specialist, or with a shotgun, or you can be a long-distance sniper. Yeah. Uh, I mean that that one looks nice. Increase we, we increase health and shell bonuses by twenty five percent. I think I'm gonna work my way towards that. Then I could get incinerate or cryo ammo upgrade, or I could upgrade the disruptor ammo. <laughs> increase health damage bonus by 2%. Increase shield barrier damage by 8%. Nice. Or... So I could actually get a disruptor ammo, sticky grenade, and... Disruptor ammo and or sticky grenade. And sabotage. That might be nice. Increase the damage... I don't use a sticky grenade a whole lot, but I... Don't really use a disruptor ammo much either. It has proven useful in a lot of cases, though. So that will be that will be interesting to maybe mess with a bit more. I know this is like the totally boring part. I'm so sorry. Rearranging my squad or my my self points, my power points. Because where are we going to be going? We have, we're not going to really be encountering, well, the mechs. I should probably get sabotaged up a bit more. And... Uh, maybe should I do... The sticky grenade sometimes doesn't work very well, though. I'm, I'm, I'm sometimes like, no, why did you do that? You know, like, it doesn't land always exactly where I want it. Increase headshot damage, increase ammo capacity, increase health damage, improve the odds of stunning a target. Okay, and then we have, so let's look at the rest of the sticky grenade. Increase damage, increase impact radius, that would be nice. Increase grenade capacity, that would also be nice. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's work on a sticky grenade. <laughs> okay. And then I will get sabotage. Increase the recharge speed. Okay, it's looking a little more balanced to me. Okay. Defense drone. Alright, alright. Go to the Citadel. Go into the Citadel. There's one person we have to talk to. I can't believe it. I almost forgot. I was like, I know there's a reason I have to be here. Don't worry, Full Metal. We'll get it done yet. When I think I was like miscalling like the nemesis there was like something yeah one of them was like a sword specialist and the other one is a sniper specialist oh, wait do I have any nope okay you're right and we missed out on like missing trainers backstory I feel really bad Ugh, I feel really bad about that I thought you would have the option to t I'm a little bit confused why you don't have the option to talk to her more so, I feel bad. I hope that doesn't mess things up. Oh, what am I doing? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, wow. I am... Okay. I am out of it. If I... Can I just walk out my door? I don't think you can, but I'm gonna try. I have noticed in Andromeda, by the way, that the running animation is a lot more natural looking. Like... Like, really cool. Oh, I can. No? I can't. Oh, okay. Never mind then. I'll go to the map. Um, I noticed at least in the PS4 Pro, whatever, whatever new console they got out, um, review that the guy that they were they were they were showing the gameplay, he like 
he would start if he started from a standstill or from a from a slow walk he would like when you tried to go when you went faster he would like pick itself up a little i don't know did you guys notice that like that was i thought that was really cool um that he like would like kind of like you know up like throw himself forward a bit more and a bit more of a natural run and i was like oh man that's really cool Doc. Alliance docks, thanks. But yeah, no, he would like, he kind of would like throw his top, the top half of his body forward and move his arms a bit more until he reached like the pinnacle of like the movement forward and then kind of even out into a jog. And, and it looked a lot more natural. It wasn't this like floaty looking jog. It was You're clear to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Definitely more natural looking. And I was like, oh man, that looks like just that little thing. Makes me very happy. Um, Presidium Commons. I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. Woo! Thanks. But I'm I'm really excited for Andromeda. A lot of the stuff, um, it's new, and I like it. Like as far as I can tell, it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, I guess there might be minor spoilers, but um. Not like, there's nothing, there was nothing real, okay, there was a little bit, the trailer, the, 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 the big story trailer release that they did, I wasn't, didn't really like that, because they like, uh, kind of gave away the beginning of the story, and I was like, oh, okay. After all, it's not like I'm the reason you're breaking up with him, right? It's the war. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. You said he'd been distant, and that the war made everything clearer, that things weren't working. Yes, but meeting you was what made me realize how bad it had gotten. I just... I'm not the one who broke up your relationship. You are! Really? Was it someone else who pinned me to the wall with her mouth? It... Yeah. I'm sorry is trying very hard to not... Yeah, I, and I said before when I played that, like, I'm like, I can understand. She maybe doesn't want to be the reason that that guy might die because he gets distracted. Because his wife is like, just kidding. I'm seeing somebody else, and that could be have an emotional impact on him, and she doesn't want to be responsible for that. But it's also like, eh. Hi! <laughs> you look very different. What was that, Shepard? That was, that was stupid. Hey, I remember you. Shepard. You don't look right? anything like you did in Mass Effect 2. Heard you're fighting the Reapers. Matriarch of Theater. <laughs> We're working on Ilya. Yeah! How'd you end up here? Nah. <laughs> that head With shake. The making noise, I figured it was time to get somewhere safer. So I moved here. Her voice is the I don't same. I think so. I've seen some video <gasps> footage of you looking at Yeah, that was, in the, that was in the broker base. Oh, this is so yeah. interesting. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Matriarch Benazio was... Um, was her mother, and, uh, well, she doesn't know it, but I was her father. Oh, my gosh! I'd heard rumors, but I've never actually seen this before. Like, oh, my gosh. You mean you were her other mother, right? Her dad. No, I didn't pop her out. Yes, exactly. Hell, she never even met me. Sorry. If you were human, you'd both be called the mother, regardless of which it's one true. you birth. It's true. Well, I'm not human, am I? Anthropocentric bag of <laughs> Way to call it, Athena! <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful! I love her. I literally might name my writer after her because I love this woman. She's amazing. You should talk. Lara would love to meet you. Why? She doesn't even know me from a hole in the ground. Benezia ran off before the kid was born. Besides, this isn't charity work. She's one of the biggest intel brokers in the galaxy. And she's got some shady connections. Like a girlfriend who used to work for Cerberus. I only worked with Cerberus to fight the Reapers. And you're not with him now, I know. If you were, you wouldn't get within a light year. <laughs> I almost missed Is that. that. a threat? I'm no commando, but I've had a thousand years to learn to fight dirty. Nobody messes with my girl. Anyway, 
You combine her work with Vanessia, and, well, the matriarchs might have ordered a hit. I hadn't agreed to keep an eye on Oh! Uh, I bet she'd like to meet you. Wait, what was that yeah. renegade action? We'll see how that goes. Oh, man! Oh, man! Oh, man! I wanted to see what the... What was... Uh, was I gonna, like, threaten her to be like, you would never touch Liara? But she's already made it perfectly clear, clear that she would never let anything bad happen to Liara. She doesn't look anything like she did, though. She looks a, lo she looks a lot more, um... Like generic Asari. The, the Athena I knew had very, had sharp planes on her face, like, you know, like her facial structure was quite sharp and broader. They really, I think maybe it's because she's supposed to kind of be an NPC that you don't notice, and so they kind of disguised her, or they just kind of crapped out and didn't, decided to not do her face the way she was. My phone is going off non-stop. Holy crap. That's what happens. All right, cool. So, wow. Hey. I've never done that before. I don't know if you have to have the Shadow Broker DLC to be able to do that or what. That bartender over there. <laughs> the matriarch hired by the Asari government Ooh! to track my <laughs> She's your father. Oh, let's just spill the beans. I know. <laughs> what? You know? I'm a very good information broker. Liara! And you haven't talked to her about spying? Liara! If I did that, they might send someone who wasn't as sympathetic to me. Besides, this is hardly the time for this family reunions. This is the best reunions. time for family reunions. Make Liara talk to her or what? I, I mean, you can't make her, but I can encourage her. Liara. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> Shepard's like, yeah, making things happen since 2165 or something. What? Asari second fleet? Come on. You can't blame the matriarchs for keeping an eye on you. I am not my mother. Mm, you did threaten to flay someone alive with your mind. Yeah. I had to make them take me seriously. I wasn't going to actually do it. And you bugged my office on Ilium. Be the logical conclusion. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're talking! <laughs> this is so exciting! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. What do you guys think? You're just gonna stare at each other? Ah, that was so cool. I'm glad I, I almost didn't go back and talk to Liara. I was like, well, that was cool. Athena, that'd be so funny to finish talking with Athena and be like, Okay, and then just turn and go over to Liara. She probably like face palm. Like Athena was probably just like, "Oh my gosh, humans, humans." <laughs> Anthropocentric, anthropomorph, anthro, anthrocentric. As I don't know, she had like an extra little couple of letters in there, but that's awesome. Please select a destination. One moment. Please. That was awesome. Oh, we should check. We had to go check the. Uh, I don't even think I have the Asari Second Fleet on my on my war assets yet. Like I didn't realize. I don't remember any having any fleets on there before, but like any Asari fleets because they're more commando ish. But we'll see. You talk later. Ah. Okay, now maybe we'll go somewhere. Oh, I had to get had to get back into it. It's it's been a very long time since I've played. I literally, I have no idea what we're doing. I'm like, oh man, we're just fighting the Reapers, boy howdy. Let's do this. Let's get her done. But I'm gonna. I think last time I didn't rush it a lot either because I was like, I I felt very anxious and like I needed to rush. And I know a lot of people, probably several people, many people probably um, rushed their first time playing Mass Effect 3 because it feels so stressful, you know? It's like, oh my gosh, like, I have to go now. Like, I have to go and get help for Earth now. But I think I did a pretty good job of exploring most of the systems and 
and making sure I got all the as many assets as I could. I definitely maxed out my asset bar last time, and I still I was still doing things, and my asset bar was maxed out. Like, so so I'm not worried about not getting enough assets. But. Alliance. Kasumi, didn't I read this? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. She can infiltrate. So we got that. I thought we'd already looked at her, but maybe not. Terminus flea. Uh, oh, updated, that's right. Blood pack. So we have the Eclipse and Blood Pack. Spectre unit from Jean de Mbao. Yeah. Hanar and Drill Forces. That's right. That's right. I would love to see a Hanar warship. While the Hanar are normally loathe this entrusted allies into open warfare, these are desperate times. I just... I, the Hanar and Drill relationship, I'm still a little bit iffy on, but, you know. Uh, but wait. We did not see the Asari Second Fleet. So was that, was that Citadel War Assets, or was that regular War Assets? It was probably the Citadel War Asset. Okay. That makes sense. Um, 